What is up guys, it's Mason from PM Chess and today I have a special guest in the person of national champion, Dr. Edupuku. Edupuku, welcome to PM Chess. How are you, how are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm good. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's always, it's always a pleasure. I mean, the co-host, are, the co-host streams are always fun, especially when we see blunders and all those kind of lines. And you always correct me when I think I've made a brilliant move, but yeah, it's always fun to have you around. Um, so today, the people want to know who is the man behind the, the brilliant moves and the, 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 the crazy chess. I mean, you, you've recently been blowing up. You know, there was this season with Ajavon um when he suddenly rose 1600 went all the way close to 1900 then he suddenly disappeared um i've tried getting in contact with him but not to no avail but now you are the rising star you and dave chief, chief a champong so who is um Edupoku? who is he <laughs> um have, have you written myself in a while <laughs> <laughs> well you do have a cv you can just give us your cv <laughs> Uh, no, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm a chess player. <laughs> I've been playing chess for a while. Um, I, I, I wasn't super active like a few years back because of like school, med school and all. But uh, the last couple of years after I finished, I was able to kind of devote a bit more time. And so that's maybe why, because I, I don't think I'm like new on the scene or anything. Yeah, you, you, you definitely are. Eyes. <laughs> yeah. So, but, yeah, definitely a bit more active last couple of years yeah so while we go on i want to beat you in a couple of chess games um yeah. and just in case you think i'm going to play a landing system let's start with um let's let's play the english i, I don't play the oh, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i'm not oh, gonna play the landing system <laughs> yeah i'm not gonna play the landing system against you <laughs> uh, okay um i know you played the catalan and so on and so forth so who was your inspiration who was your inspiration when you started playing chess who was your inspiration um so i was introduced to the game by marcus mark uh, gadisi really yeah, yeah i mean we were yeah i know him <laughs> you know him. So, well okay well that's actually i i that is that is news to me yeah, we're both in commerce. I mean, when I stay introduced to the games, not like, uh, <laughs> I mean, I saw him play once and then I was curious Then I think he showed me how the pieces move or something. But I mean, that was it. Yeah, we all had someone so, who showed us how the pieces move, except me though. My oh, no, you already knew how the pieces move. No, you know everybody's favorite chess trainer? Windows XP chess titans. Everybody's favorite chess trainer. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. So I learned the moves by watching the 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 dots, basically, <laughs> with the papa na 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 and all those kind of things. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm the one who's losing already. <laughs> no, no, I think I'm 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 thinking of doing something crazy. Yeah. That's fine. Oh, okay. Um, so so um, what? How how was your beginning in chess like? Like um. How did you get into the groove of things? When did you start understanding the intricacies of the game? Like, when did you realize that this is not um, it's capturing pieces? When did you realize that? Yeah, I, I, I still don't realize that. <laughs> <laughs> no, so um, after, I mean, after you showed me all the pieces moving on, it was just, I don't think I, I played with any kind of serious seriousness, but... Uh, a bit after that, I think I discovered online chess. And that's really how I learned how to play and got like super interested and, you know, played for hours on end, the usual chess player mm-hmm. story. Yeah. Um, unfortunately for me, I think uh, in, our, in our school, I was in the worst at the time. Mm-hmm. Is, and there were a few people in our, my class who, who also could play. And so uh, we, would, we would play amongst ourselves. And that sort of rivalry made it a bit more interesting. In oh, what? That, that <clears throat> you know, for a second there, I thought um, you, you, your improvement would come from playing from KNUST because the KNUST scene is really competitive, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. But I'm actually shocked that a senior high school um, gave you that much 
in terms of chest movement? Yes, yeah, high school was definitely key because when even when I was in you know was I used to go and play with them at the at the KNC club back then. Uh, it was Winfred and Selassie and Co. Vitali who were there. Oh, okay. And so I mean, even when I was in the was, I wasn't getting too much. I mean, after a point, I wasn't getting too much of a challenge from like my mates anymore. So I would go and play with the KNUST club on 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 campus. Yeah. And the queen of Katwe. Yeah. <laughs> now nobody is your your your, your level. Yeah. No, no. <clears throat> you know the funny um, thing. The funny thing that most people don't know is that the person who introduced me more into the tactical and strategic part of chess was um um thompson in case you didn't know <clears throat> interesting yeah I you know me, uh, there, there was this point where he was teaching chess um mm. in, sen- in high schools and i happened to be in seventh grade and he came to teach us and wh- when i met him during my first ever otb tournament and he mentioned those things i was like Oh yeah, I remember I used to text this guy that I wanted to play in chess tournaments and the rest, and that was like ten years ago. So it was interesting, yeah. So it's, it's always good. Like always, when I think about how I started in chess, I'm always like, wow, I've come so far just to hate this game. <laughs> I mean, so it's 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 quite interesting. So you you mentioned um, you mentioned your rivalry. Or you would call it, I call it a rivalry, but it's actually um, just a normal thing. Your hatred, should I call it hatred? Like, what should I call it? For Hasford, <laughs> like you could never oh. ever beat him. No, hatred is not, no, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> hatred is no, a strong yeah, word. No, I, yeah, I mean, hatred is not even close. <laughs> I, I, I haven't uh, gotten a, a, a point off of him before. Mm-hmm. before um when did i draw him i guess earlier last year mm-hmm. so up until that point i played him like four times i think and and i lost every one of them and what annoyed me wasn't just that i'd lost but then you know all those games i played really really badly I mean, like uh, really 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 bad yeah i think that comes from the the whole point you know that kind of thing where um you're being a strong player like how how do you work that out like you're playing a strong player um, how do you get your nerves like fixed so that you can play your best chest? I mean, sometimes it's not like the player is so strong that you can't beat them. It's just that the, the amount of times you've lost against them really affects your thoughts process. Like you can't really, uh, like I'm playing against you every single time. I think every move I make is bad, you know, that kind of thing. So how, how, yeah. how did you deal with, how do you deal with those type of things? It's, it's. <laughs> Fairly normal, I think. Um, I think you just need to make good moves. Like, there's a lot of, <laughs> you know, chess psychology. People do all sorts of, you know, focus on this. No, I don't. Know, I think if you make good moves, it's. I mean, the confidence will come. Yeah. So, I, I think he just wanted to avoid the question by giving us the most obvious answer. It's <laughs> is <laughs> really all that you need. I mean, like, make good moves. It's like when I was watching this yeah, stream. Yeah. I was watching this stream and uh, they were like, there's this team, I've forgotten the name of that team. I think it was either Overwatch, it was an Overwatch um, tournament or something. I I can't really put my camera, I can't really remember what it was. Mm. But um, the team, the team just kept on losing games and then they had a pep talk. They had a pep talk in uh, the the locker rooms and the, and the, the captain was like, guys, just play better. And that was all the pep talk they needed. Like, obviously, you have to play better. Like, <laughs> what do you mean play better? That's the whole point. But yeah, eventually they 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 ended up winning. I, I remember was it liquid or quantity? I remember. But yeah, that's the most obvious answer you could ever give to this question. No, yeah, but I, I think sometimes in general the results will improve with with mm-hmm. time because um, I got the draw against him. Um, I want to say at the president's cup but I'm, i think so so the, that was like my first half point against him mm-hmm. and i think that helped um and so going into this this particular game it wasn't uh that element wasn't it's partly because like i have a ton of respect i think he plays the best checks in the country by far that i, I think he has it. 
is a country by far for mm-hmm. more than I mean for decades. So like it's mm-hmm. yeah, their legend is ridiculous. These guys. So uh, yeah, it's it's a bit of wanting to play well to kind of impress him. Yeah, you <laughs> on know. some level. <laughs> yeah, that that I uh, agree with you. It's like at least if they could notice me doing exactly. It would, exactly. it would really help. Yeah, I know that, I know that kind of, sometimes, you know, sometimes I have this fantasy in my mind that I'm against, let's say, um, I had to Javon. Then I'd beat a Javon and everybody's like, whoa, bro, like, damn. And, and you know, I almost, I almost had that win against a Javon. That's the sad part. I almost had that win against a Javon. But... The moment I had the winning position, I made the biggest mistake I think chess players shouldn't really do. I left the board. I stopped looking at the board. And I looked. People started gathering around my board because I was clearly winning. People got my board. I looked up. I saw people looking at the board. People were whispering so many things. So when I turned to look back at the board, I kid you not, I saw two. Like, I was seeing double. I couldn't see the board again. The moment I looked up and I came down, it's like the adrenaline was so much in my system. I could not see the board. I just could not see the board. And I just offered him a draw. And that was the quickest draw acceptance I have ever seen in my life. Like, I did this and he just shook my hand. He didn't even wait. Like, <laughs> and, and uh, I remember Toby was just, so he kept on blasting me and he was like, why are you a fair draw? I said, listen, the next move I was going to make would have lost me the game. Like, I asked Al Javon, like, what happens if I make this move? Because that was the move I was going to play when I looked at the board. He said, if I played that move, I was losing. I said, then it's a good thing I accepted the draw. I took the, I offered the draw. Like, people were so pissed off that I didn't beat him. I said, no, no, better draw. That I think that was the tournament I, I won, Um, I think, a hundred and something rating points. That's how my rating shot up. Yeah, that was the tournament. It was, it was very funny. Let's play. If I'm playing open, people don't expect me to play. I think that's a sin, well, so I'll confuse people even more. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to play something you definitely won't expect me to oh, play. Oh, no, we are going to play the Magnus Hikaru variation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I have to stop pitching like that. But yeah, it's, 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 you know, I, I was sure people got offended by that. Like, Elitists sometimes are very boring. Like, <laughs> how how do you get something funny like that? Like that was, it's, like, it's the same way people go bit of when uh, Andrea asked how a night moves. I don't know if you knew, knew that people got pissed off by that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was very shocked. Like it's inside joke. If you don't, if you're not on the inside, you just won't understand it. But it's fine. So what 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 are your plans? What are your plans? Especially like with your YouTube channel. How like what are your plans for your YouTube channel? The future of chess for you or for Ghana? What, 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 where's your mind at? Where's your head at? Yeah, um, mainly just to have fun, I guess. Like, I'm not a super serious person, I just like to enjoy myself. So, so far as I enjoy something, I'm going to keep doing it, guys. I mean, the YouTube, wasn't, uh, I just pitch it within. Let me just pitch in yeah. this. He says he's not a serious person, yet he's a doctor. Just, just take that. Just take that. <laughs> yes, you can go on. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, you can. <laughs> just so that you just try to castle, right? <laughs> I literally just tried to castle my king. Uh, I didn't say anything. You didn't say anything. <laughs> yeah, so, so just to have fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I didn't start the YouTube thing with any kind of uh, aspiration or like go super serious goal in mind it was just because i thought it looked like fun mm-hmm. and it was i i enjoyed doing it um so so far as it 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 still gives me that i mean it's interesting mm-hmm. i think it is so far as i enjoy it I'll, I'll keep doing it um so i don't particularly have like any super serious goals but of course you want to you want to go as much as possible and mm-hmm. so of course if i can hit uh in one the 1k million. man 1k i was going to say 1 million that's it slightly more than i was i was going for <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean, a man dream um, uh, so currently that's what i'm working towards mm-hmm. but uh in general i'm just just looking to to enjoy it i'm pretty um, sure you get it by before the end of the year though 
<clears throat> well, <laughs> I <laughs> hope so. There are about four videos that you haven't made yet that if you make, uh, I'm sure you will gain about 200 subscribers. I, I mean, I spoke to you about it that I really learned from your channel and I see that most of your self analy analysis games, like things where you analyze yourself seem to hit a lot. Mm -hmm. And the second thing is when you participate in very big tournaments and you play against very noticeable people or your game is noticed by very big people, it really helps um, boost your channel. I'm still trying to castle, which is very annoying. I just can't to forget that I can't castle anymore. Yeah, so I, I really feel like if you do make those videos, I know you still have more of those videos um, not published yet. So I'm not sure you do get to making those videos, you will really um, gain about 200 subscribers. Yeah, but now that you bring that up, I always wanted to, how did your friendship with Bernard and Huerre start? Uh, uh, yeah, so in the story I was narrating, mm -hmm where I discovered chess online. Um, I, 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 I met him for the first time online during that period. He was, I mean, that was back on, that was when chess.com, I mean, there was no, Lee Chess wasn't that, what it is today. So chess.com yeah. was like the, the you know, coaching. You see that like Lee Chess has become uh, more popular. <laughs> it's literally as popular as popular. Lee Chess is the best, I mean, you can, you can hit on it as much as you want. <laughs> you, know, you know, you know, we were talking about this and I was saying that Lee Chess is the best when it comes to connectivity. Most people disconnect on every um, site and that's because of the many things they have on their site. Like I say, chess.com is the best site if you want to improve upon your chess. Like chess.com focuses more on um, steady chess than the playing aspect. Though recently it's added the chess league and so on and so forth, but it, it has most of the learning materials and all those type of things. So I think the bulk of those things um, makes it harder to connect when you have connection like ours. In case some of you don't know, some people just have about um, <coughs> two kilobytes per second. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> it's that bad. So yes, I agree with you that Lee Chess does offer that kind of um, chance to finish a chess game on like chess.com. Yeah. Uh -huh, so, um, what was I? You're talking happened. about Bernard? So, um, yeah, yeah. So, um, am I not open it? Okay, I'm not opening it. Um, so, I, I met him online during that period. And, I mean, of course, you, you are looking out for, you know, Ghanaian players. Back then, I used to follow chess on, like, the Ghana Chess Facebook page, which I don't know whether you, you know of it. It's a thing <laughs> that exists. Yeah. And Kodobo is the one that, that usually handles it. So. Mm -hmm. He would post updates from like tournaments and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and and mm -hmm. so I met Ben online. I, I, I mean, I realized that his rating was, because I mean, not a ton of Ghanaians beyond those that I know play like seriously mm -hmm. had like, mm -hmm. okay, I mean, had like strong ratings. But I realized that he was someone that had a rating around my level. So naturally, it's someone that piqued my interest. We played a couple of times, I think, online um, back when we were both in. SS, I, I want to say it was during the period between SS and when you start investing that that's sort of loud that you be at home. Um, so I already knew him online, but then he also came to tech and that's when I met him in person for the first time. So I, I, I still remember the first time I met him. It was, I'm sure it was soon after you opening because like chess players, you couldn't wait to meet. So yeah. I went to his room um, and I had this like little mini chess board with me that I took along and I went to his room and we had a game. And I lost that game. That's why I remember it. I lost that game. I was super annoyed because in my online games, it was always close, but I had, I think I had a slight, uh, slight lead in terms of head to head. So this was like our first OTB game and, and I lost, I think we played a French record account, something funny like that. How do you play a French? And, it's like you were just asking to lose. And <laughs> no, Ben, he played the French. He plays the, he used to play the French. Yeah. Of course something. you change it. The French is okay. Yeah. Yeah. He had to change <laughs> Yeah, you know, and that's that's one yeah. thing. Okay, you let, let me finish. I'll add that up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was the beginning of our um, relationship. It's hard to call it a rivalry <laughs> because probably the, the most fitting word is a rivalry because I mean we're like, of course, the best two in, in yeah by by far in tech, and so like every uh, tech championship would be basically got tested between the two of us. So whoever like wins our matchup <laughs> wins the tournament. I think there was a year that Kwame Setcher showed up and yeah, 
and I think one year to really showed up. But really apart level? from that was yeah, yeah. Oh okay. Apart from that was mainly either me or me or him. Oh okay. Um so yeah, we had a few mm-hmm. I think the tech championships swapped hands between the two of us for a while. Mm-hmm. But uh, I think he won more than I did. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but I think so. Because I remember one particular year where he beat me in some some game. I still remember how I lost that game. It was so annoying to win. Um, but anyways, so it's kind of hard to call it a rivalry because we haven't ever... A <clears throat> first classical game that we played. Mm-hmm. And that one, I mean, the tournament had been decided beforehand, so we drew in like less than 10 moves. So we've never actually competed in a serious class card game. So although we've been in the same environment and yeah. sort of been rivals, we haven't ever actually had to compete against each other. We've always like been in the same team mm-hmm. playing for the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so it's difficult for me to see him as a rival per se, but I guess that would be the most accurate but yeah, he's what I really like about Ben. Mm-hmm. Um, so when I started, I was mentioning some like I, I started out playing with like Mark, and then after a while, you get stronger than those you compete with, right? <clears throat> which is how you really get this for. I mean, when you start out when you're young, you get better, yeah. So, and then after a while, I became like the Winfreds and the Celasis, but then after a while, I realized that you are getting better than them too. Mm-hmm. But at every stage, Ben was always there, like. After a while, I realize I'm better than these guys. But then I meet Ben and we are still on the same level. No matter <laughs> yeah. the improvement I make, I meet him the next time and it's like, nah, this guy is still, mm. is still my level. Yeah, those are, those are, so those, are like yeah. those are the kind of people you like as, as partners. Yeah. They really yeah. Oh, I'm flagging. No, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm dead. Uh, that's just check me. <laughs> I'm so close. Damn it. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, but that's also one thing that you mentioned. Um, <clears throat> you mentioned a lot of your losses. Most most of the students I I teach is one thing I realize that they don't really take into they they don't really take well. It, it this is a story I've, I've said many times when I was um when I'm streaming. But um, when I was playing chess in Achimota, there were these two guys, the top chess players at the time, Aisa and Raymond Polo. And they were my friends. They used to motivate me because they used to believe that I would become better than them, which is funny. Everywhere I go, people think I become better than them because I've once said the same thing. Um, so during the evenings, they would invite me to their room and that was hell. That was hell. I think that's how I've learned to play long games and, and still hold my fortitude because I would play like, let's say, 30 games with one person. Then that person, when his head is aching him and he's tired, he would swap with the other person. Then I'd play with that person. So mind you, they are relaxing and my head is just boiling. Like, So I, I could play like 100 games then and I would lose every single game, not a single one. And I'm sure you guys noticed that when I, when I, when I was in the ground, I, I don't know if you were part of Dreamfort, but I used to play against Mark Adese, and he would place our scores on the Dreamfort page. And sometimes it would be like 25.5.5, like, I'd only drawn one game and he beat me 25 times. <clears throat> the thing is, the more games you play, the more you analyze your positions, the <clears throat> and and the more correct you make to your style, the, the better you become. Like, um, what's his name? Um <clears throat> what's his name? Um Chess Coach Net, he's a streamer. He he always says this that losing is learning. And I think that if people can start taking that to heart and stop thinking too much about I have my rating, my rating is this and this, if my rating can count the number of times my rating has dropped by 500 points and still come back up. Like something we should really take. And the second thing you mentioned is having a rival. So like, <clears throat> so for me, it was like I mentioned, oh, I thank you for making that mistake. Uh, for me, it was like, um, <clears throat> oh, it's, a, it's a mistake. I, I, it's, an, it's a very I big inaccuracy. When you check the engine, you should give me like minus plus one plus two. It's a very annoying. I, I, but don't, I don't know how to continue. That, that's the exactly. bigger problem I have. <laughs> But the, the, you the, have a good position. You have to win it. Yeah. The thing is, you have to. Um, what's the word? You, black pieces are tied down to the to the queen side, and yeah, three pieces because just you you use one piece to hold the whole position. You have three pieces to hold that position. So you have more money points. Yeah. So that that's one of the reasons why it's considered a very good line. So funny enough, I usually don't. 
<laughs> because I don't know how to continue. But it's also a very good line. So yeah, I had many rivals that I picked in my time. So I picked Rim, uh, Polo and um, Aisa. And eventually, I didn't really get to beat them in my time on camp on, on, in Achimota. I ended up being the first person to defeat the chess coach, though. The chess coach, nobody could be there, not even Aisa or Polo. But I ended up being the first person to ever beat the chess coach. The second thing was that I also had the highest loss record. <laughs> I had the highest loss record. You know, to do the selection, we, we needed to find a way to select the best players. So anytime we met as a chess club, there's a tally board. Whenever you play a game, you slack for when you win or when you lose, those kind of things. And I had the highest loss record because the only people I was playing was Polo and Aisa. Anytime we came there, if it's not them, I wouldn't play anyone else. At that time, Toby also joined us. I never played against Toby. I did train her once in a while. She's denied it, but it's on paper. I trained you for a bit, Toby. I accept it. I accept that I trained you. So yeah. Yeah, I I I I managed to hit it off by playing against these strong people. Then when we came to the university, it was Joel. Um, I don't remember Joel. Then from yeah, Joel, yeah. I went to Magadese. Eventually, I beat Magadese. Then I went to Ajavon. I almost beat Ajavon, but he's go uh, he's not playing now. So right now, it's Nupi Kennedy and you. Uh. Yeah, Nupi Kennedy and you. Um, Kennedy, the reason why I play on Nupi Kennedy is that he says that um, I'm one of those chess players who claim that will come back, but will never come back. So he will <laughs> never play me at all unless it's under tournament condition. So if I ever against him i have to win games in a tournament and face him let's go aggressive <clears throat> oh, yeah. yeah that's that's oh, yeah. yeah so president's cup you guys are listen if i beat you and kennedy or if i just beat one of you i have won the tournament i have won i, I don't care about result i have won the tournament i don't i don't, I don't you guys in the tournament, but to me that's a win. So <laughs> we, we, you will we, probably uh, could you only be the title to be beating the one of us. <laughs> <laughs> I know you know how that kind of thing feels like if I, this guy it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter. I can lose all my yeah. games. It just doesn't matter. Yeah, but also let's add this. Uh you can see on the screen that there is coaching being offered by Edupoku. And trust me, this is one of the best to actually go for this this training course that he's he's offering it's not a course per se but he's going to be your coach for a while and this is the best time because he has experienced his greatest growth spread within this time that means that there's there's some training he's undergone which has opened his eye up to the to the game of chess even more so i think this is the best chance you have or you will ever have to actually take this kind of training now if you take it about two years from now maybe he's a retired chess player by that point in time and he doesn't remember how to how to um <clears throat> yeah he doesn't remember how the pieces move or he has forgotten that the landing system is the best <clears throat> i mean you guys can fight it but i mean try tested and approved by the whatever the landing system is the best open if you guys don't want to do that yeah. ever again you have to play the landing system yes. it's a must so yeah, his number is on the screen. Um, you can hit him up on WhatsApp. You can hit him up on Discord if you know his Discord name. <laughs> your Discord name is very interesting. But yeah, well, <laughs> your anyway. Discord name is very interesting. There's a story behind that name. There's a story behind that name, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know what it was. I was just signing up for... I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure. There was some short-term reason why I had to get an account quickly. So they just asked me to type. So I didn't know it was like... your. <laughs> In name, I was just typing what and <laughs> so I really realized that it's actually my my spin name. Ooh, uh, what? Yes, what? I don't even what know what I'm this? doing. I'm just trying to throw you. What's up. going on here? I'm trying to throw you up. There's no plan. Ooh. There's no Ooh. plan. There's no like plan behind it. what I just played. I like this. I yeah. definitely do like it. Yes, but it's not going to win me any games. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, this is very strong. Yeah, but um, so I, I it's easy this? for you to defend. That's the point. Uh, I hate it when you... Like, you, Bernard did the same thing yesterday. I'm like, come on. Looking up. Just take the piece. <laughs> this is a true Gambit is taking it. Isn't, isn't that right? So just take the piece. He's going to defend. I'm sure he's going to defend. Um, so here, if he takes... Uh, it's actually very annoying. <laughs> yes, but... I mean... You can't you can do your... Bad move. 
<laughs> can defend the palm to your queen. All right. Oh goodness! Like I said, I'm going to be aggressive this time. I have 50 seconds to be aggressive. <clears throat> oh, I can flag you. You can flag me, bro. I just realized I can flag you. You know, your name is cannot be flagged, right? Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> All right, then this this should be this should be good. Uh, how do I want to do this? How do you want Let to do, do what? This. Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah, yeah take, take take that pawn. So I lose a rook. I lose a rook. Do I lose a rook? Or do I give you more material? I can't think. Oh my goodness. I can't. <laughs> wait, what? What do you mean by wait? What? That's the was said to make. That's like the best move in the world. What was I thinking I should have made? What Anything move? else. Anything else but this? Um, Bro, what is kept? No, but you could have taken the pawn. Your queen still defends the C1 square. You know, I actually forgot that. <laughs> yeah, you forget you forgot that. Uh, oh, so my don't. goodness. So now I lose. I just lose. I'll flag you. This is the, this is the problem. Like, worst case scenario. Worst sure case scenario, flag. you flag me. Yeah. But you're thinking about flagging instead of winning. You can easily win the yeah. game. <clears throat> Let me see. Can't this like you have a no. check but after go for the win and blunder somewhere in the middle. <laughs> yeah, this is probably a blunder, but how will I who cares? How can I make headway? Come on. Make my day. Yeah? Uh-huh. And uh-huh. and we draw. <laughs> yes, we draw. I have made your day. Thank you for the draw. Or you let me check which you want. Wait, I'm going to Wait, no, Wait, uh, there's... Try any other square is deadly. If you try yeah, G4, you was... are dead. Do not try G8. I said no, G4. I do this. Yes. Yes, guys, it's possible. If you believe, you can do this. Yes. Yes, guys, it's possible. If you believe, if you believe it's possible. I'm not winning, I'm drawing the game, but if you believe it's possible. Yeah, if you believe it's possible. Oh, oh, so thank you. You know, I pre-moved... Uh, <laughs> You know what? Let me play G7. <laughs> uh, the London system, even in the worst of positions, you can win. This is why you must play the London system. So, you may be wondering why uh, sometimes the screen is lagging. It's because of the multiple things my PC is doing. You realize that if I don't make a move, everything is fine. <laughs> but the more I make moves, the more it lags. So, that's the reason why. Don't think it's your PC. Your PC is not buffering. It's just me. Okay, okay. So, how if someone wants to improve as a chess player, what do you think is the most important? If you would like, you could also give per stage, like maybe between this range to this range, this is what you should do. Yeah. Uh, I think there's a wing gambit, right? I don't remember. Or oh, there's the Evans gambit. I can't remember what it's called. I haven't seen this before. I think it's the Evans gambit. Um, I'm not so sure. And so I'm definitely going to take the Evans gambit has black. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I've legit never seen this before. How to blunder a piece in 50 seconds. That's what it's called. Actually, That's the Evans really Gambit is for white, but I'm playing it for black, like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, this, <laughs> this is definitely not the Evans, but the good thing is that move. You know, the annoying thing yeah, is that I'm called a positional okay. player. You know, I hate that thing when people call me a positional player. When I joined Dream 4, they used to call me like a viper because I would squeeze you. And I know I'm a positional player, but I just don't like it. <laughs> I just can't. Like, I hate the fact that I'm positional. I just wish I was not positional, you know? Because as positional players, we can play like 200 moves in a game. It's, it's that annoying. I mean, there are benefits of playing positional. One is that um, your opponent literally has no moves. You are the only one who has moved to play. <clears throat> but then, yeah. So what, give us some tips, because I also need tips to beat some of these players, how, how will I improve? What, what's your advice to me? Don't say play more yeah. tactics, I'll beat you if you do that. Huh? You do more tactics. <laughs> that means I'm winning this game. Do not play the London. <laughs> do not play the London. Oh. how to lose. What do you mean? The London team has won more the, teams. Do you, these are the most important <laughs> things I can tell you, okay? Do not play the London. 
and definitely do more tactics. No, but um, the truth is, at a level, majority of uh, of our games are decided by some sort of tactical issue. Mm-hmm. And I like people like to think of themselves as like kinds of like a positional player. I I I don't think it really matters at our level. Mm-hmm. I don't think yeah. that. We, we can we, are, we can afford to have styles. We are just not good enough. Uh, well, um, you can claim a style if you are good enough to actually see. So where styles come in is when there are two or three sort of equally good moves, mm-hmm. but then you decide to go for one over the other because you prefer that kind of position. Mm-hmm. So I mean, so the Kramniks and the Kasparovs can claim to be different kinds of players Aggressive, because they see yeah. all the two or three good moves. But then decide, oh, I feel like I want to go crazy. I feel like I want to play solid. Mm-hmm. But not on our level. On our level, mm-hmm. if we make moves like that, it's mainly because we didn't see what the best <laughs> Exactly. And it exactly. Was the best so it's not really a matter of style. It's just a matter of not playing very good, mm-hmm. to be honest. But yeah. Um, so definitely um, in, in improving your tactical abilities like that. It's probably like the best way for any individual below 2,000 to improve. Because, I mean, no matter where you are, if you are below 2,000, then it means there's probably a lot of mm-hmm. work that you need to do on your, on your calculation. And I, I don't, I don't, people like to just limit it to tax. It's not just tax, mm-hmm. but in general, it's calculation. Mm-hmm. Um, the ability to calculate is, it goes beyond just seeing tactics. Mm-hmm. It's a very important, uh, <clears> especially <throat> in playing I guess I shouldn't have taken that point. <sighs> no, it's, no, it's not fine. It's, it's fine, but the, the, the fact is that, okay, well, I want to play, so it's not that bad. Yeah, so it's, it's, fine. Not, it's not very. Yeah, because I mean, this is what I want to play. You know, some people oh, actually sacrifice their rook here. Some people actually sacrifice their rook here because the bishop actually gives more. So this, sorry to give this a, a lesson in chess, even though this is in Sometimes it's not about the value of the piece in terms of its worth five. If you think about it, this bishop has a very good chance of launching a very strong attack against me. You can see that the file is open. He can bring his rook in, he can bring his knight in. And this rook in particular is not doing anything. So he could have, for example, play rook to h1, a bishop to h1, allow me to take the, the, the rook. But he has very good compensation because the bishop is very strong. Just to mention, because it's actually a very good thing. I think I'll give you my rook. Oh, man. I think I'll give you my rook. Because this I really hit. I captured with your king, that's interesting. Yeah, but I mean, how else can I capture it? There's only. Um, takes, takes, takes. That doesn't work for me. I could take here, but it doesn't just. Oh my god. I, I'm still too slow in starting an attack against you. But I agree with what you say. Tactics are, tactics are very important in your beginning stages of chess. <laughs> um, Ajavan once told me that I shouldn't read a single chess book until I'm at least. Um, 1400 and i used to think that he was wrong you know there was a point in time everybody sees me and they're like i'm always come to talk about tactics and positions and theory yeah when i started chess when i was around 1200 i read a lot of chess books i knew a lot of chess theory uh a lot of i am jeremy silman's books uh, reassess your chess the amateur's mind um end game the end game i i did all of them so i had a very good understanding of positions but I did not know what to do. I didn't know how to clarify and solidify my position. So, yes, you might know that um, Sicilian Dragon has 15 moves and you might memorize all those lines. If you don't really have a good chest or positional understanding, you are just wasting your time. Like, it doesn't... Yeah. Mean, I remember I studied square theory. <clears throat> it didn't do me any good. <laughs> I studied so many things. Like, I can count the number of lessons I had and books I read. I read, um, what was this guy's book? Um, you know, Chessable. I had a lot of books I was reading on Chessable. I, I oh, just, really? yeah. I, I still I still do use Chessable. Guys, you should use Chessable. It's actually good. Um, it, there's yeah, so mm-hmm. something I, I even wanted to, to yeah. mention myself. It's like the, so at the end of um, last two years, when I like finished school and started studying, mm-hmm. I started studying chess. Um, that that that's like the key. That's like what well, it took me up at least uh, mm-hmm. at least a hundred points in terms of playing strength. 
Yeah. I think it's an, it's an, it's an, it's an amazing tool. Yeah. It, it, it works on the psychology of space repetition. But I, I, you realize that the main reason they did that is so that um, you can solidify positions and tactics in your mind. But it's, it's become even more than that. At first it was just, okay, memorize this line, um, this, yeah. do that. But now it's become sincerely more than that. It, it's become like a chess go-to tool to, to mastering the game. I, I, like recently, very, Mag- very yeah. Nice. Since I, I know I have the free version of Magnus of the Magnus Touch, right? His end game course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah everyone has. Not everyone, bro. The free course. Uh, <laughs> the free course. Yeah. The free, yeah. Yeah. The free you know, course is the free. Are you... <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. So it's one of the two that really, really, really help me. Just sentiment is one thing that I think baffles a lot of people because sometimes you don't really know exactly. How to For example, like this move I just saw. Like most people didn't see that because they can't understand this. Yeah, most people are right here. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, so we'll have to uh, yeah. end up the interview here. But uh so any final thing you want to say to the people before we get uh, out of here. I I realized that we stopped the interview and we're just chatting at the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so any final words as your time goes and I win this game? <laughs> and show to the people that indeed beating Edupoku is not a dream. It's a reality. Um, uh, no, it's... Uh, it's just I losing style. Yeah, I can just lose in style. Just Wait. I'll, I'll take with... <laughs> okay. uh-huh. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And uh, so far as you enjoy it, you should definitely... Yeah, just enjoy it. I mean, if you want to improve, improve. If you want to improve, that is this. What do you mean what, what I'm doing? This? What do you think? What, what do you mean what am I doing? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> That's like, anyways. Wait, because, no, I didn't give you the piece back. No, I didn't give you a piece back. Yeah, okay, yeah. Also, you, could have, you could have just wiped the... Fl- anyways, I'm flagging, sir. Yes. Um, who cares? <laughs> And I like doing this when I win. GG, well played. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. I keep on interrupting. So, yeah, you were saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I mean, do more of what you enjoy. Yeah, that's... That's basic. I mean, have fun with it. People... Yeah. Don't, I mean, don't take it super seriously. Mm-hmm. Be serious. But, like, it's not... It's a game at the end of the day. It's, yeah. it's, an, it's a great game, but... It's, it's still a game, game you know yeah. and enjoy it um and have fun mm-hmm. if you don't have fun then there's no matter at the end of the day only one person can win a tournament like, yeah you know but they are like 50 of us so you should show up to have fun first yeah. of all and not like be concerned with like winning or like ratings or stuff because if you don't enjoy it you win ratings but you still won't enjoy it but you should just just enjoy it it's because mm-hmm. i mean it's a fun game mm-hmm. yeah. wise words from a wise man please again he's a doctor it says a lot it says a lot. I, I, I really have to highlight that. I know why. <laughs> well, I think doctors are like serious people. Though. Yeah, they are very serious people. You know, I, I, I met a doctor once. And when I saw how red his eyes were, I realized that a Greek is not a difficult course. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that, that, is all, that is all good. <clears throat> so, please like and subscribe. Check out Chess Intense. They are the number one chess channel in Africa. I think, like, I think so. I really no, think no, no. so. Like, sincerely there's speaking. Some, there's some bigger, there's some much Okay, bigger. yeah, maybe Nigeria. Nigeria would have a channel. I don't know if they do, but they would have they a channel. Have a I think, like, they're torn, like, Kenya, Zambia. I've seen channels from all those places. Okay, but you're still, you still the official in Ghana. I'm, I'm, I'm chasing after you. I'm chasing after you. <laughs> okay, so we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.